I'm assuming there might actually be a cellar for us to go down into. But I could be totally wrong about that. Oh yeah, there is. Uh, this Broodmother has a lot of health. Like, a crap ton of health. Oh, we've got another Hunter Buddy to help us out. Void Elf. Nice. And we got a random pair of Risk Guards level, item level 55. Alright, we will equip that. Perfect. Oh, we should equip these shoulders as well. That's quite a boost. Anything else we're forgetting? Probably, but nothing I can see. Uh, what is this? Okay, sack of flour. Right, right, right. Shopping list, of course. I like that our turtle has this bubble because it's a visual reminder to me that uh, he's low on health. As we've been getting closer to level 50 here, I've been really trying to figure out what do I think about the Hunter uh, as a class in retail. And it seems like from a performance side of things, like the class does really well. We can deal a lot of damage. It seems like all the specs are viable to quest in to one degree or another. Having the pet out and keeping your pet alive is still pretty important. Uh, the only thing I would say is that I, I don't think it's really effective to do marksmanship without the pet while you're leveling. Unless maybe you're in like really good gear that can just two-shot everything. That, that might be a possibility. But I, I would say that... Ooh, you're evade bugged. We are gonna let you uh, have your space there. I'll say that from like a, a fantasy perspective of like the class fantasy, it's a little bit weak for me at least. It doesn't really... It doesn't do a lot for me from that perspective. And I'm not really sure why. I think we need to be using this stun gun to collect these rats. Yeah, okay. Stuns them, and then we need to click on them like so. So 
So we're, we're killing the big rats, who we're looting the little rats after electrocuting them. How can you not feel heroic? How can you not? Alright, so we chain lightning all three of those. We can clear this volatile rat. Oh, look at that, our Chimera shot for the win. Just taking out the guy who's already basically been pacified. Perfect. Our, our pet now is like gonna go ham on him. Okay, we collected him before our pet killed him. So at least there's that. Whoops. There we go. Alright, 8 out of 8. Let's focus on the big ones now. Alright, we still need a couple of spider silk. Let's head back towards this building. Oh, hi there. Oh, we have that random NPC who just vanished to thank for throwing his uh, little rope ball object and killing that thing in like one hit. Not from reindeer, are you? Every path. Has a few puddles. All right, let's not focus on turning these in. Let's, uh, well, let's get unstuck. Let's get over here. And they've all respawned, which in this case is good. I love the look of this area. This is probably one of the most beautiful zones that they've ever put into the game. And I have enjoyed it immensely, a lot more than I thought I was going to. It was kind of last on my list of places I wanted to go in this expansion. And it turns out to be one of the most beautiful zones I've ever seen. So there's that. Alright, this drop rate is, uh, well, it's pretty crap.
There we go. Of course, we get two for the last one. And now we'll probably get attacked by a bunch of these on the way back. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and so it begins. So it begins. Let's get our pet over here, like maybe attacking the one that we are fighting. There we go. Times were simpler once. We will reclaim what's ours. Every hand helps. Uh, let's take the gloves. Every path has a few puddles. There we go, level 49. One more level to go. Unfortunately, Millbrook's flock hasn't been producing lately. What with all the wolves about, the poor things must be terrified. Wild goats wander the hills, and they are quite fearless compared to the sheep. Uh, now we're collecting goat Seas milk. We're now, we've now gone from playing WoW to playing Stardew Valley. We're collecting goat milk now. Wait a minute. Are we... Okay. We, are we having to kill them? Are we having to kill the goats to get their milk? That makes basically no sense. I hope that's not what's going on. Maybe that one was just in combat with this razor claw. Let's try to find one that's not in combat and see if we could milk it without killing it. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now, can we milk one several times? No, we can't. Oh, there's a quest over here. And sheep. Times were simpler once. Lately, the wolves have been terrorizing my flock. They weren't an issue until the giants moved in and pushed them out of their normal hunting grounds. I feel bad asking you to do this, but could you thin their ranks? Oh yeah, we've been killing wolves since level we'll one. Claim what's ours. Of, of course we can. Black sheep. I'll admit, Millie has never really been one to follow the herd. Usually it's no problem. She'll wander off for a bit, do her own thing, and eventually make her way back to the flock. The hills have grown increasingly more dangerous lately, especially with the wolves and giants about. She's been gone a while, and I'm starting to worry. Seas grant you favor. Let's try this one again. It's been a minute. Nope. Okay. Alright, what have we got going on now? Uh, we need Razor Claw slain, we need Goat's Milk, we have an Alpha down there, and we need to rescue this black sheep. Let's head this way. It's a very cathartic area to quest in. The quests are very simple and easy, it's all very calming. I don't know if the game is supposed to be calming, but it is in this part of it. Uh, there is Millie, our 
Our lost sheep. I hope we don't have to escort it back. Okay, rescued and done. That's how I like it. Oh, she is going to follow us, but I don't think it matters uh, what happens to her after this. Alright, cool. We can't get up there. We need one more Feral Razor Claw, and then we'll be done with that. Alright, easier said than done, I guess. We've thinned their ranks possibly too much. Let's head this way. Uh, should we go for the Alpha? It was a three-person quest, maybe not. Uh, what we are going to do is get on our mount. Yeah, we've got this big area to search, but I, I'm not seeing any more wolves. I see the Eden. Alright, let's go up here. I see one. From round here, are you? Every path has a few puddles. We will reclaim what's ours. Every hand helps. Please grant your favor. Thank you for helping me collect everything. I couldn't let you go out there and battle those mean Edens on an empty stomach. Now I would be... Now I would be no better than those terrible monsters if I did that, would I? You just feel free to take a load off while I make you some fresh cookies. Oh gosh. We will reclaim what's ours. What is happening? Not from round here, are you? Every path has a few puddles. All right. Oh, we're literally going to sit. Is something awful going to happen to us? Okay. Times were simpler once. We will reclaim what's ours. Okay, now here's a little something I whipped up for you with those extra ingredients. We don't have much around here in the way of weapons, but we've got gunpowder and plenty of flour, a surprisingly explosive combination. Toss one of these goodies at, a, at those nasty Edens, should disorient them long enough to give them a good whack upside the head. Every path has a few puddles. Before you head out, I have one more favor to ask. Please take these cookies with you to Charles. What sort of grandmother would I be if I didn't bake some for him too? Seize grant your favor. Wow, this has just been an amazingly lore-heavy section that we've been playing through, hasn't it?
All right, so the Edens are elites. Um, weren't we going to whack them upside the head with some kind of item? What happened to that? No? Okay, here we go. I, I don't know where our pet is. Oh, he's he's just chilling behind us for some reason. He had no interest in coming down here and actually trying to fight the enemy. It's totally fine. He is on assist, but he's he's not going in. I don't really know what his problem is. It's another thing about the class. Uh, you know, it's been fine. It's been really playable. I don't really think I like having a pet to manage. As useful as it can be. Um, yeah. It sometimes just creates a distraction when we're trying to figure out what our pet is doing or realizing that our pet is in fact dead. Now he's fine. He's going in fine now. Let's go talk to him just in case he has a quest that overlaps Every in this area. Helps. Of course he has multiple quests. With the storage shed ransacked by rats and the giants pillaging our shipments, we've been running low on food. When I was making my way out here, I saw a bunch of grain sacks littered about. Grandma's always telling me I need to toughen up a little. How easy we've got it these days. I read a story about giants that are terrified of rats, so I thought, hey Charles, here's a great idea. Let's take all those rats we gathered and let them loose on the Edens. Okay. Every path has a few puddles. Seems like a fine idea. Okay, so we can use that on them twice, but then we have to wait for it to cool down before we can pull the next one. Which is fine, because we need to be collecting these sacks of grain now.
Nothing more stimulating than running around, clicking things on the ground, uh, with nothing around to fight. Yeah, that disorient must do something to call our pet off. Every time that they're wandering on disoriented, our, our pet just runs back to us. I'd really rather he just kept attacking. Even if it broke the daze or, or whatever's happening to them. Well, somebody's already fighting this guy. We need to go ahead and tag him. If we can. Oh, we can't. <laughs> Perfect. We get to wait for a respawn. Who doesn't love waiting for respawns? Couldn't close the distance quickly enough, I guess. Well, I hope that he respawns in the same area, at least. That would be nice. Ah, uh, there he is. Okay, he's just going really, really slowly. Not sure what's wrong with him. Let's summon our rats and I guess we'll just get started on him. Try to use this item. Okay, we cannot use this item. We did pull a mountain goat because why not? I can only assume that the rats are being super effective. Well, we got a crossbow that looks like it's an upgrade for us. We'll go ahead and equip that immediately. And then, uh, well, we'll start heading back while looking for, what do we need? One more Etten. I see a bunch down the hill here. Not from round here, are you? We'll take the boots. Every path has a few puddles. Hey, they upgraded. Perfect. Not from round here, are you? We will reclaim what's ours. Uh, all right. Well, we have a bunch of breadcrumbs littered all about the map. Let's uh, let's pick one and head to it. Are we gonna be able to get there without circling around? 
I don't know for sure. Can we just fly there? Good day to you. Uh, we can. Smooth sailing. Let's do that instead. <laughs>